Picard. New trailer, season two, trailer two of Picard came out like a week ago. Um, we're gonna watch it. Who cares? Let's go! Ships. Upon which history turns. Are they gonna go circle around the sun? I know someone who could help us understand the change in time. I'm gonna need some tea. Earl Grey, piping hot. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cause that's what he orders, get it? That makes sense. Your answers are not in the stars. And they never have been. They're in the Earth? <laughs> They're in downtown LA. It's vastly more dangerous than you realize. Take the blue pill, Picard. But that was data? I don't know. None of this it makes any sense. Or it's just another descendant of or ancestor of Soon. Yeah, see when I think of Star Trek, I think of half of the trailer being fight scenes and the boar queen is like walking on all fours like a dog and that one's like what the heck are they doing i guess when people criticized her for being the bad guy from captain eo they're like no no look she runs around like a dog as well like, okay what i think a lot of the problem with kurtzman's stuff is it feels like they were in the writer's room and we're all just throwing out ideas and he said yes and they're like what order should we put it in he's like any <laughs> and then they try to bring in people like terry Mattel because they're like okay well you had clearly good success on time travel shows of telling a cohesive story just take this mess and try to do something with it and i don't know if even terry can save this is it supposed to be that q changed one moment at some point in the past and that made it exactly play out as if the mirror universe how the mirror universe played out to me, it doesn't even matter. Bringing in Q into a story like that, it's like the end of Tapestry. You just say, hey, Q, like, stop fooling around. And he's like, okay, and now everything's back to normal. So, like, there are zero stakes in all of this. Like, who cares? I don't... Yeah. It... Uh, <laughs> at the, I, I'm finally at the point where I agree with Cisco, and I'm like, just punch him! Just try that! And the thing is, I don't dislike multiverse stories. They can be done well. But I don't like them because they're majority of the time not. But it's like, I think this is going to go into that realm which gets me so mad. And people go, it's time travel. I'm like, no, it's not. It is a an inaccurately told mirror, like, multiverse story that you're doing wrong and labeling time travel. I'm still that, that, that mouse in a test touching some cheese because it's like, I still want to be hopefully optimistic that I can be mm. pleasantly surprised. But it's like, I don't... I, at this point, I don't see how. I'm still open to be pleasantly surprised. I don't see how either. I just don't see how. Like, there's nothing. I just realized. I put on this, like, chapstick that has a bit of a color to it, and I look like I'm wearing it. <laughs> Star Trek has established that it is, like, an infinite multiverse in parallels, and I guess since the Kelvin timeline's a thing. Like, so there's infinite versions of all of these things happening, so... Yeah, Q could change the prime timeline, or he could just have brought them to a different universe. I mean, I doubt that's what it is, because obviously I think they want... They're going back in time to help the future. There's clearly this established thing between Q and Picard, and their kind of relationship to each other, where it's like, Q screwed with Picard first. He's like the first one that met him. So they have this history of stuff. But if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty, he screwed with Janeway just as much. So it's like, but people are like, no, we want to see this interaction. And remember when he was testing humanity? Yeah, he's just going to keep screwing with Picard forever and making Picard have to repeatedly fix things. If you want to screw with Picard, do it before he died. <laughs> Why come back and screw with a robot version of him? And it's like, oh, yeah, remember when I keep saying I'm testing you over and over and over again? I'm just going to do it again. Go solve something again. What is the point of him solving something again? All he wanted to do with Janeway is make a baby and mess with her. <laughs> Season one of TNG, you know, he basically, he straight up admits that, oh, humanity is evolving really fast. So, like, they see us as, like, competitors to the whole Q continuum. And that makes them a little worried because they don't know what we're going to be in the future. Yeah. So that's why they're interested in humanity at all. So I don't understand what Q's motivation is to turn humans into just a big pile of poop, I guess. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to save the continuum from humanity being too awesome, but there's no... That version of awesome humanity actually evolving 
doesn't exist in the Star Trek. Universe, yeah, yeah. So. It's like, you should be happy. We've all devolved into idiots who aren't <laughs> cooperating anymore. He, he could have just it came back and said, I was right. I've, we're going to actually could just you kill all humans. If that was his only like cameo in this, he's <laughs> like, see, I was right. You guys screwed everything up. I always, as a fan, when Trek was still good, was always like curious about, and everyone was curious about, like, what was Q and Guinan's history? Yeah, that would be fun to flesh out. I have a feeling they're, they're not going to do, do it right. It in a way that will just, yeah. So, like, that whole thing is interesting, but it's like, I don't know if it's going to be done well at all at this point, because I track record don't have faith in anything in Star Trek after 09. I just don't see the point of this. There's no... What's the lesson to be learned? What's the test to be taken? What's the reason Q would come back and just mess with all of humanity just to test seemingly just Picard? It's not a test on humanity. It's just him being like, I'm going to screw everything up. See if you and your ragtag band of idiots can fix it. That'll be an interesting season. <laughs> like, I don't... Okay. Nope. No, probably not. Okay, bye! <laughs>